Now, you all, please be careful. Oh, Aunt Grace, I bet you went on hundreds of scavenger hunts when you were younger. Jackie, don't you do anything silly. Well, Jackie doesn't have to be careful, Miss Bryan. With her luck, nothing could happen to her. As long as I'm around, nothing will. Better get started. It's almost five. We're due back at midnight. Good luck, dear. With you along, we'll all need luck. I bet you've got the easiest things to find. Look, I haven't opened my envelope yet. Want to switch? Oh, no. Come on, switch. Wow. Come on, Jackie. I'll walk you to your car. You go ahead. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. So long for now, Andre. Good night, Bob. You don't like him, do you, Aunt Grace? Oh, honey, this is a party. Go on, have a good time. He is wonderful. But I do love him. You will, too. I want you to come and visit us often after we're married. You better take this. It's gonna be chilly. Thank you, dear. See you at midnight. Oh, I'll be home long before then. Oh, I feel so lucky tonight. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Got plenty of gas? Oh, I'm not taking my car. What? Here comes my chariot. <laughs> Jackie, do you mind if we make one stop before the we... The first stop is the Palisades out at the beach. You fellas are about to help me win a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt? We thought you wanted to take another flying lesson. No, a scavenger hunt. And I can get around a lot faster in this helicopter than the rest of the gang can in their cars. Isn't this kind of an expensive way to win a game? Oh, it doesn't matter. So long as I do win. What part of the Palisades do you want to go to? Suicide Point. I've got to bring back the keep off sign. Wait a minute, that's a pretty tricky place to be climbing around. You're not kidding, that's 200 feet straight down to the ocean. Oh, it's been sounding like a couple of mother hens. There. It's like walking a train. Oh, relax. I'm a big girl now.
jersey's all right. At least I got my sign. Yeah, you got your sign. It's kind of an understatement. But what would I have done without you two? Wait here a minute. Thanks a lot. but I found something else that was sort of interesting. What'd you find? That point that broke off. I think it had outside help. What? Hmm, I guess I've been putting on a little extra weight recently. I'm not talking about your weight. The spot when you went over, it broke away cleanly like it'd been loosened with a shovel or a pick. Oh, Chuck. <laughs> You've been reading too many cops and robber stories. Look, next stop is Uncle Morgan's estate on Winthrop Hills. I've got to get an orchid from his hothouse. Now, you're not planning to go on with this crazy game after what happened, are you? What did happen? I had a little slide down a hill, that's all. Look, Wither Pills is, uh, is that way. Ah, oh, Chuck, I, I promise to be very, very careful. Come on, buddy, it's only a couple of hours from here. Why not? All right, but we're going to keep a very careful eye on you. Promise? Do you think you can land on the lawn in the back? I think so. Now look, I'm going in as quietly as I can, but we're still going to alert the house. <laughs> Uncle Morgan's liable to start taking pot shots at you. No such luck. Everybody's in Europe. Well, no one is around? Well, old Fred, the caretaker. But he's so deaf he couldn't hear the helicopter if we flew right under his bed. He's always asleep by this time, anyhow. Mr. Bryan's residence. Hello? Hello? somebody's there. Hello? 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 orchids because you're both such dogs. You forget about the extra orchids. Take care of yourself, huh? Oh, stop worrying. I can find my way around your blindfold. Bye-bye. She's 
quite a girl, isn't she? Wow. The broadside of an airplane hangar. Does the caretaker shooting at us? I thought he'd be asleep. Well, quick, call to him. Call him off. He wouldn't hear us. It's worth a try. Go on and yell. Anything's worth a try. Fred! It's Jackie! Fred, we're friends of Jackie Bryars. We're not trying to sting him anything. He can't hear us. If he's such a bad shot, let's make a run for it. No, listen, anybody with a rifle can be a killer. Now, I'm going to circle around and try to grab him from behind. No, Chuck. He won't lay a glove on me. When I call you, you come running. You bet. Fred, stop it! Lay down. Chuck's all right. Jackie, I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Jackie, but Mr. Morgan warned me to be very careful about prowlers. It was my fault, Fred. Yeah. We shouldn't have sneaked in this way. Take it oh. easy, Fred, now. Calm down, calm yeah. down. You got any coffee, Fred? Huh? I think we could all use some coffee. You say coffee? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, my hearing ain't as good as it used to be. When I went out there and I saw things moving, why, I just started shooting. Well, it's lucky my eyesight ain't so good either. <laughs> yes, it is. What made you go outside in the first place, Fred? Huh? How come you went outside? Uh, oh, the telephone. Woke me up. Dang thing kept ringing and made me say, hey, gee, that I ran outside when I heard that airplane of yours. You heard the helicopter? The what? The helicopter. You heard it? Well, I heard something. Generally, I wouldn't have noticed it. But uh, it just got me so edgy that I just uh, jumped on anything. Who is calling you on the telephone? <laughs> Beats me. Every time I'd pick it up, nothing. And when I'd hang up again, it'd start ringing. But if it hadn't rung, you wouldn't have known that we were here, would you? <laughs> I'd be snoring right there in that bed. in the orchid. Next stop... Next stop is home, honey. Home? Oh, well, I've still got to get the helmet off the suit of armor at the Sunset Club. Not in this helicopter. There have already been two tries in your life. We're not going to help someone prove that the third time is a charm. Chuck, you can't be serious. Oh, loose dirt and a hard of hearing caretaker don't add up to somebody trying to murder me. They do by my arithmetic. <laughs> they were accidents. What about the phone call to the caretaker? A wrong number. That many times? Lots of wrong numbers. Who knows? Look, you're taking this thing too seriously. I'm paying you to fly me to three different destinations and not to be my guardian angel. We're not going to charge you for the helicopter, but you are going home, and that is final. All right, let's say someone is trying to murder me. Who? Well, that's what we'd like And to... why? Well, if you'd only... Nobody, and there's no reason. I'm a clean living American girl who minds her own business, who cheats only at golf and tennis and, and steals other girls' boyfriends, and only when absolutely necessary. Hey, maybe that's a clue. Oh, come on now. 
The only one I've cheated recently is the pro at the club. And the only boyfriend I've stolen belonged to Roxanne Stevens. And I didn't steal him. He stole me. How'd she take it? Pretty hard. And I would, too, if I lost Bob. Now, if you're through with the third degree, can we get on with the game? No, sir. You are going home. Why? Because I... Because a girl I've known all my life is a... Let's just say that you're going home because I'm stubborn, all right? Well, I hope your conscience bothers you when I lose. Bother me a lot more if something happened to you. Don't look at me. I agree with Chuck. We hope she's right when she says I worry too much. Come on. Brian, I'm Chuck Martin. Yes, I know. And you're Mr. Moore. That's right. How do you do? You're Jackie's flying instructors. Where is she? Has something happened? No, no. She's fine. She's driving to pick up the third object on the list. Driving? Uh, yes. Well, it's kind of complicated. There's nothing for you to worry about. You promised me she's all right. She couldn't be better. Hello, Grace. I saw the helicopter parked outside. Where's Jackie? Uh, Roxanne, this is Mr. Martin and Mr. Moore. They're Jackie. I know, I know. I saw them when Jackie took off. Well, to get all three things on her list, this is Roxanne Stevens, another one of the scavenger hunters. Hi. How do you do? Well, where is she, huh? Honey, relax. You've no right to be so jumpy till you reach my age. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll make out your check. Surely. Roxanne, Jackie went out to pick up the third thing on her list. She took her car. She decided she didn't need the helicopter. Did you get all the things on your list? Well, no. No? What happened? I had trouble with my car, so I quit. Oh, I can't ever beat her. What do you think? I don't know. That trouble with her car is kind of hard to figure. Well, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Everything's possible. It's even possible that someone beside a friend of the family knew about the hard-of-hearing caretaker and suicide point, but who? We better keep an eye on her until Jackie comes home. Yeah, it can't hurt. Hi, Villain. Well, hi, Bob. No hard feelings, but I'm not glad to see you. I figured I'd won this game till I saw your helicopter parked outside. Where's Jackie, the perennial winner? You did win, Bob. Jackie took a car and went down. Oh. Here you are, Mr. Martin, and thank you so much for taking care of Jackie. Well, Bob, I didn't know you were back. The bath, the chicken, and the foot. Those are the things Jackie was supposed to get. Wait a minute, Miss Bryan. Did you make out that list? Why have you got these things? What's Jackie getting? I don't know. Whatever was on the list you gave me. She and I swapped. Oh, no. What's wrong, Miss Bryan? Harry, you've got to fly me over to the Sunset Club. What? But... We've got to get there before Jackie does. Stay here in case you call.
nothing you can do for her now. There must have been a couple of thousand volts in there. Oh, if I had touched that, that suit of armor. That's right, Jackie. Why? Why? Why would that Grace want to murder me? Not you, Jackie. You swapped with Bob, remember? Jackie, we better contact the police. We'll use a helicopter radio. No. Come on. 